Hey everyone, and welcome to Top Think. Today, we're going to learn about the top five hair loss solutions that actually work. Now, let's begin. Number one, the green tea treatment. Now, if you're searching for a permanent hair loss solution, you've probably encountered your fair share of crazy remedies, right? People claim everything from eggs to mayonnaise can replenish or thicken your hair, but very few at-home solutions have any scientific backbone. Luckily, there are a few diamonds in the rough. One of these treatments is a simple and effective way to reduce hair loss all on your own. And here's the best part. You can buy everything you need at your local supermarket. Because the key is actually one of the most popular drinks in the world, green tea. This everyday item, when applied to your scalp, can significantly decrease baldness and thinning. It specifically targets the effects of a condition called androgenic alopecia, or as most people call it, male or female pattern baldness. So, what separates green tea from the other fake hair loss solutions out there? Well, simple, scientific evidence. The benefits of green tea were tested by a 2007 study in the journal Phytomedicine, and like most people, these researchers were skeptical of whether or not green tea actually worked. Hey, it turns out green tea really does make a difference. It may not be an instant cure for bald spots or patches, but research shows that green tea nurtures the scalp, it slows down hair loss, and it paves the way for new hair growth. So that leaves us with one big question. How do you do it? The green tea treatment requires only two bags of green tea. You brew them like you normally would. Then you leave both tea bags in a cup of cold water. Give them some time to cool down, and once they're around room temperature, you want to gently rub those packets onto your hair. And that way, the chemicals from the green tea can really seep into your hair follicles and make them stronger than ever. You should let those chemicals sit and do their job for the next hour, and after that, thoroughly rinse the chemicals out of your hair with water, then dry and go about your day. <laughs> it really is that easy. To get the most out of this treatment, you should repeat this process consistently for one to two weeks. Your hair will take longer to thicken and grow, but if all goes according to plan, you may start seeing some real results. Number 2. Rejuvenating Your Scalp now let's dive into something a little more scientific. Many experts recommend special shampoos or topical creams, which contain a chemical called minoxidil. Though we don't fully understand what minoxidil really does, countless people have seen real improvements in their hair length and density. One of the most persuasive studies on this chemical comes from the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology. This 2002 study compared a topical hair cream containing 5% minoxidil to a placebo alternative. So, if minoxidil really does encourage hair growth, the first cream should perform better than the second one, right? Well, that's exactly what happened. The minoxidil cream created much more hair growth than the placebo. In fact, over the course of 48 weeks, the minoxidil cream worked around 45% better. That means less shedding, stronger follicles, and plenty of new hair growth. But there was one thing researchers didn't expect. The minoxidil cream didn't just stimulate hair growth, it had a powerful psychological effect on the people who used it. Because they felt better about the way they looked. Every time they looked at their reflection in the mirror, they felt more confident and happier with their appearance. Uh, just to be clear, the hair cream wasn't actually changing anyone's brain, but it was improving their self-image. So why exactly is minoxidil so successful? What does this chemical actually do? In simple terms, minoxidil is a potassium channel opener. And that means it widens the potassium channels in your body. So if you rub this cream on your scalp, those channels will get larger. And that means more blood, oxygen, and nutrients entering your hair, which are all essential for hair growth. Oh, but that's not all. A 2019 review from the International Journal of Trichology explains how minoxidil changes the way your hair follicles grow. Most people don't know that your hair progresses in stages. There are three stages to be exact. First is the anagen phase, during which your hair experiences the most development. On the average human head, about 90% of the hair is in the anagen phase. But when you start balding, that hair growth stops and your hair enters a new phase. Either your hair starts regressing, otherwise known as the catagen phase, 
or your hair does nothing, entering the telogen phase. Both phases see little to no growth, which can be a big problem. That's where our powerful new chemical steps in. Minoxidil pushes hair follicles from the telogen phase to the anagen phase. In other words, it forces them to start growing again, and it creates longer, thicker hair. Number 3. The Power of Soft Showers When you wake up in the morning, nothing feels better than hot water running over your head. It's relaxing, it's peaceful, but it can be devastating to your hair follicles. Few people realize just how much damage that showers can do to their scalp. Any kind of hard water decreases the durability of your hair, and it opens the door for breakage and hair loss. This comes from a 2018 study published by the International Journal of Technology, and in this study, researchers measured the strength of human hair under soft and hard water. They wanted to figure out whether or not hard water actually damages your hair follicles. It turns out it does. Hair follicles that encountered hard water were weaker and much more fragile. On average, they had significantly lower tensile strength, which is how much weight something like a strand of hair can hold. If your hair has lower tensile strength, it's more likely to fracture or fall out, which can create more bald spots down the road. So instead of letting that water beat down on your head, get a new shower head and save your hair from the dangers of hard water. Number 4. Stress Reduction Tactics Stress and your hair just don't get along. More often than not, stress is the root cause of serious hair conditions like patchy hair loss. Stress is such a huge problem that many stress reduction tactics also give your hair a boost of growth. Meditation is a great example. I know this doesn't seem like a real hair loss solution on its own, but according to a 2006 study published by the American Psychological Association, it's an effective way to manage the stress in your life and recover after experiencing a stressful event. Okay, let's say you mess something up at work and you get yelled at by your boss. Obviously, that can create a lot of mental stress. Long after the moment's passed, even if you think you've moved on, that stress can linger for days or weeks if you aren't careful. Luckily, meditation offers a simple and enjoyable solution. All it takes is one 10 to 20 minute session per day, and that brief period of relaxation can dissolve your stress, unravel your anxieties, and give you a much needed sense of control. So try to incorporate meditation into your daily routine, because this healthy habit can really cut down the stress in your life, and that can work wonders for your hair. Number 5. Muscle Relaxation If meditation really isn't your thing, you could also try something called Progressive Muscle Relaxation, or PMR. And like meditation, PMR is an accessible at-home technique which you can use to manage stress on a daily basis. The benefits of PMR were shown by the same 2006 study from the American Psychological Association. They found that PMR is an effective alternative to meditation when it comes to stress. In fact, a single session of PMR can significantly change your stress and anxiety levels. So, uh, how do you actually perform PMR? Like meditation, you may need a bit of practice to get the most out of this technique. But everyone has to start somewhere, right? So, here's the short version. First, you find somewhere to relax. You might lie back on your bed or recline on your couch, whatever's the most comfortable. Once you've found a relaxing position, then take a deep breath and repeat this a few times. Then, when you're ready, tighten the muscles in your feet. Now, hold that position for a few breaths and then slowly release those muscles. Now, you're going to repeat this same process for almost every muscle in your body working your way from your feet and legs all the way up to your neck and face. By the end, your body and your mind will feel calm and rejuvenated. Now, If you're trying PMR for the first time, you might be tempted to rush. But when you speed through this technique, you're not actually doing anything. You're not giving the PMR a chance to do its job, which means your hair isn't getting the stress relief it needs. So whether you're meditating or using PMR, it's important to take your time. Remember that your goal is to manage the stress in your life. You have to relax and unwind, and then slowly but surely, you can build your hair back to its former glory. 
Hey, thank you for watching Top Thing, and be sure to subscribe because more incredible content is on the way.